Wilderness cannot be restored or recreated, only destroyed. We are just about to lose our last glimpses into prehistory that connect us to eternity and remember a time before modern man. Every year, we pole ourselves across the Okavango Delta in northern Botswana. These 220-mile research expeditions take us, take us across a wilderness beyond comparison. Visible from space, the Okavango Delta is the largest alluvial fan of its kind. Fed by floodwaters from the mighty Kavangu Basin, the size of Texas, the world's largest undeveloped river catchment. Home to the largest remaining population of elephant on Earth. Keystone populations of lion, leopard, hyena, wild dog, giraffe, buffalo and cheetah depend on Africa's next UNESCO World Heritage Site. But why? Why do we risk our lives every year to cross this remote wilderness? Well, there are two reasons. First, to undertake and complete the most comprehensive biodiversity survey ever undertaken in this remote wilderness. We do this during the receding floods when all wildlife is concentrated onto the main channels we are using. This is the only way we can do this over nine years. We're doing this, in essence, to benchmark this wilderness so that we can notice any significant changes in the future, should the catchment change. Second, to share the human experience in this remote wilderness. What began as an expedition blog uploaded via satellite has become a mission to convince people, millions of people around the world, to protect and preserve wilderness they will never visit. The Bayei people, arrived in the mid-1700s. They're the custodians of the Mother Okavango. They arrived with a revolutionary new technology, the Mokoro, an 18-foot dugout canoe that would forever change our human experience in this remote wilderness. The Iron Age had arrived. The digital revolution is still coming. Over 10 years, thousands of miles poling with them across the Okavango, we were accepted as Bayei River Bushmen. We can now navigate a secret path into a remote wilderness known only by them and us. Haunamakua, Bayei Hela. There are no foreigners here, only Bayei. As Bayei, we enter that wilderness barefoot, unarmed, with minimal food rations and no possessions. As digital bushmen, we arrive with hundreds of pounds of batteries, solar panels, satellite dishes, tablet computers, apps, and modern technology. Intotheokavango.org is an effort to reinvent the process of surveying, mapping, exploring, and most importantly, sharing these remote wilderness areas with the world. Immediate real-time access via an open API to all of our research data, to our biometrics, things like our heartbeats, what we're seeing, what we're hearing, our comments, directly involves scientists, data artists, programmers, school kids around the world. They can interact with us. That's how we share these experiences. This is a simulation of data being put into our system and represented live online. We have ornithologists in England going through our research, helping us publish very, very quickly. Now just imagine, Following us as we go into a remote wilderness, unexplored wilderness on the other side of the world. This is us going down a crocodile infested channel. All the water has gone. Dead animals in the water, dead crocodiles, probably killed by this one, a 15 foot Nile crocodile that was to turn around and come back at us. Coming around, coming around. It began to accelerate against the current. We were surrounded by the abundance of life. Our apid had now died on us. This is another crocodile trying to get away. This large crocodile is coming at us thinking we're another one. I pulled over to the side, braced for impact and surrendered to the wilderness. Heart stopping to say the least, but a lesson in what is important. I dedicate my life to the preservation of wilderness for my son, Jack Wild Boys. Thank you.